I rescued George when he was two years old. George never would have survived on his own. He definitely trusts you. Last night, George was seven feet and weighed 500 pounds. George, you okay, buddy? You're scared. It's okay. This morning, he's nine feet pushing a thousand. What's happening to my friend? Are you familiar with genetic editing? Changes will be incredibly unpredictable. Is he the only one? Oh, you didn't know about the 30-foot wolf? <laughs> Day, huh? Science experiments falling from the sky. Having George on that plane, it's a big mistake. I think we'll be all right. Let's go save the world. It's coming back to me. You have to evacuate Chicago. George didn't ask for this. They're gonna put him down. That's not happening. Just thinking, the only thing that's missing right now is a giant crocodile. Sway in the morning, Shay 45. We gotta talk about what's happening in Chicago. Hey. Everybody's watching this viral video of this guy in the hoodie, they're calling the Grim Reaper. He stopped the carjacking. Is he right for taking the law into his own hands? He's become a folk hero. What about the shooter? You look like a white dude. I love my family. But when they needed me most. 911, what is your emergency? There's men they're breaking into my house. I think they're here. <gasps> no. I failed to protect them. Dad, where's mom? The men who did it are out there. So there's nothing that you can do? Is that what you're saying? If a man really wants to protect what's his, I want to buy a gun. He has to do it for himself. We're closed, pal. We'll kill my wife! Who else was there? I don't know anything else. I believe you, Joe. So you're not gonna kill me? No. Jack is. You got caught in some crossfire? The ice cream man done it. The ice cream man? Can't walk to school if they don't work for him. Who are you? The last customer. You're not a cop. Somebody has to do it. You're caught, locked, and ready to rock. I'll say. They called him a guardian angel. He saved my life. You look much better getting out, socializing. Mm. Not so much. Well, whatever you're doing, keep it up. <laughs> okay, I will. Jake. Your father always said he wanted you to be a pilot. He said a lot of things. I'm not a hero like he was. The kaiju. They're gonna come back. I'm not gonna be stuck waiting for someone else to come save my ass. Cadets? 
You better gear up. How'd they get into our world? Someone let them in. Someone from our world. Who is that? Definitely not one of ours. Let's do this. This is your chance to make things right. We're gonna need more violence. We have them. There are pilots we remember as legends, but they didn't start out that way. They started out like us. This is our time to make a difference. Do you understand? Jaeger pilots, do you understand? One way to find out. That's what I'm talking about! I was raised as an only child with two people who basically hated each other just enough to stay together. So I guess you could say I've been mediating since well before I was born. Years before I heard the term mutually assured destruction, I was very familiar with it growing up in that house. Mason Francis Skiles, 45 years old. 10 years ago, he was deputy chief of mission here until his wife was killed. He's damaged goods, but he's manageable. Maybe one of you could tell me what I'm doing here. Three nights ago, an American was pulled off the street in West Beirut. Next morning, we got a communique from a group calling itself the Militia of Islamic Liberation. They have the guy they want to talk. They want you to burger the deal. They asked for you specifically. Your friend Cal, he's the hostage. Cal's the head of all Mideast operations. He talks. You'll be waiting for bodies to pile up on the embassy sidewalk. What does he want me to do? You're an experienced negotiator. Negotiate. What do you want? I will track Al Riley for the return of my brother, Rafael Borajan. Give me a meeting in Israel. Munich Olympics, Madrid, flight 305. 46 days. All of this, Rafid Abu Rajab. Is this about you looking for the man who killed your wife? If they can't find your brother, you're gonna have to come up with an alternative. This is alternative. He's given us six hours to deliver the brother. He's hiding. He's been driven so deep, his own people don't know where he is. Right now, there's a hell of a lot of unprotected pieces in the field. Do you think they want to save Cal, or do you think they want to save the information? That's an ugly question. Clearly, the monsters have taken over Lebanon. Something needs to be done. And give Israel the keys to the city? I need to see Cal, and it's impossible. It's only impossible if he's dead. 2,000 years of revenge, vendetta, murder. Welcome to Beirut. My name's Wade Watts. My dad picked that name because it sounded like a superhero's alter ego, like Peter Parker or Bruce Banner. But he died when I was a kid, my mom too. And I ended up here. Sitting here in my tiny corner of nowhere. There's nowhere left to go. Nowhere. Except the Oasis. A whole virtual universe. Well, let me take you on a trip around the world and back. He 
People come to the Oasis for all the things they can do. But they stay because of all the things they can be. Can you feel this? Um, yeah. It's the only place that feels like I mean anything. The Oasis was the brainchild of James Halliday. Hello. If you're watching this, I'm dead. I created a hidden object, an Easter egg. The first person to find the egg will inherit half a trillion dollars and total control of the Oasis itself. Who is this Parzival, and how the hell is he winning? Find him. This isn't just a game. I'm talking about actual life and death stuff. The Oasis. The world's most important economic resource. And it's nothing less than a war. We're in control of the future. Welcome to the rebellion, Wade. Like many of you, I only came here to escape. But I found something much bigger than just myself. Are you willing to fight? Help us save the Oasis. What's your name? Lara. Surname? Croft. Your father's gone. You can pick up where he left off. I see so much of him in you. Brilliant. Hello, Sprout. If you're listening to this, then I must be dead. I found something, a tomb called the Mother of Death. If Trinity succeeds, our world is in danger. Promise me will stop them. I promise. I think I know where my dad went. That's right in the middle of the Devil's Sea. It will be an adventure. Death is not an adventure. shouldn't have come here. <laughs> but I'm glad that you did. What do you know about my father? Now I see the likeness. The recklessness. Close the tomb once and for all. The fate of humanity is now in your hands. Can't be too careful these days. The world has gone bloody mad. I'll take two. There's a hurricane coming. We gotta go. Agent Corbin reporting in. 600 million. Buffalo bit. It's all here with about 300 million of its cousins. It's your responsibility. I'm all right at babysitting old money. We're on lockdown due to the storm. Come on, man. Oh, boy. Turn around now. Do it. This is not good. No witnesses. The treasury's being robbed. Where is she? They need me. I'm the only one with the code. We gotta go get my brother. I need your help. Let's go save the world. What in the hell? Well, I am a citizen of Alabama. Yeah! We're about to be crushed by the biggest storm of the century. Look out! I knew today was going to be a... Ah! Let's load up. Ah! 
This is gonna be harsh! What? Here comes the harsh part! Here goes nothing. You better hope not. Let's get the money. That thing wants to swallow us whole! Hell of a day, ain't it? Hell of a day! So, uh, what are you dating like an accountant now? Or... Owen. Ventriloquist? Stop it. You love a dummy. This is not why we're here. You can blame me. Try to shame me. I know why we're here. A rescue op. Save the dinosaurs from an island that's about to explode. What could go wrong? Blue is alive. You raised her. <laughs> Do these animals deserve the same protections given to other species? Or should they just be left to die? These creatures were here before us. And if we're not careful, they're going to be here after. cannot be contained. Life breaks free. Life finds a way. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. I want you to respond truthfully. Have you ever hurt someone? Yes. Have you ever experienced anything you'd consider abnormal? Yes. Last question. Do you know what mutants are? <laughs> Did you know baby rattlesnakes are more dangerous than adult ones? They haven't learned how to control how much venom they secrete. <laughs> All of you are dangerous. That's why you're here. You've been through a lot. Get some rest. <laughs>